Hey folks, Pastor Jay, Trinity Lutheran Church. Uh, we're excited that you're a part of our worship community. Got a lot going on here coming up in May. Man, May is upon us. Uh, it's just amazing. Get it? Hey, anyway, uh, we're finishing up our last uh, week of our Why Are You Surprised series. It focused on, on Easter. Um, and really, why are we surprised that the Son of God actually rose when God can do anything? But we had some doubts. So we talked a little bit about that last week, and then we'll wrap up this week with what are we going to do now? You know, how do we respond to this wonderful gift? So anyway, I hope you can join us either online or on person, in person. Uh, we'd love to have you here. We've got booklets available uh, for you to kind of jot some notes down as well. Uh, but that's really all I have. We really want to continue to just live in this Easter uh, resurrection. We know we had to go through the cross to get there, but the glory of the resurrection is truly uh, pushing us forward week by week, day by day, hour by hour. Uh, but most of all, we're glad that you're a part of our worship community. If you have any questions, please reach out to, to one of us but, or myself. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Just know that God loves you. So do I. Hey guys, Dave Merritt, Youth and Family Ministries Director here at Trinity Lutheran with this week's announcements. It's America Day here at school. That's why I'm rocking this hat, which has been seen on ESPN before, and this awesome tie. First, our Kid Zone update. Please join us this Sunday, May 1st as Miss Bethany and Miss Amy begin our new series on ways to worship. They will discuss that you can worship anytime and anywhere. Please join us at the 10.05, uh, 1005 time frame for KidZone and during the 11 a.m. contemporary service for KidZone Light. Also, our VBS update. Yes, VBS Monumental is coming Monday, August 1st through Friday, August 5th. 5.45 to 7.45 p.m. The details are in the flyer to my right. Also, if you are a student or a volunteer, please scan the QR code. If you have any questions, email me, Dave Merritt, dmerritt at trinijapa.org. VBS helpers, yes, you. We need teachers, helpers, registration people, set construction, and even singers to sing praises to God. Yes, we need you for VBS. Again, scan that same QR code. If you have any uh, questions, you can, all, you can email me. We're also Erin Kasuf, our VBS coordinator. Her email is enkasuf78 at gmail.com. And our youth update. Our middle school youth crossfire is back in action every Wednesday, 6 to 8 p.m. Uh, where use the gym entrance, please. And also our high school youth uh, J. Crew is back this Sunday, May 1st, 6 to 8 p.m. Please use our Narthex entrance. And also our uh, J. Crew High School small group uh, will begin back on Friday, May 6th. Uh, it'll be at the Kasuf House from 6 to 8 p.m. Please RSVP to me, uh, Dave Merritt, dmerritt at trinijapa.org. We did it again. We made it through announcements. Have a great week. Hey, <clears throat> it's Lori Hinman, and I'm the Life Teams Director at Trinity and with a couple of announcements for you this week. Um, the first one is that it is a new month. And so what that means is there is a new memory verse uh, for you to memorize. And it is, this time it is from the book of Micah. Micah was an Old Testament prophet. And this verse actually might be a little familiar to your kids. If you have kids in VBS or Sunday school, a lot of times this verse is used um, in conjunction with that. So maybe your kids know this verse already. That would be cool. Uh, here it is. It is Micah 6, 8. He has shown you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. That's Micah 6, 8. Cards are out in the pews as of May 1st, and they're always on the various countertops around um, in the narthex. So you can take them at any time. You could take multiple ones, give them out to somebody else who um, has, you know, maybe made a, a promise to try and memorize more scripture this year. But any scripture you can put in your head is better than uh, facing situations that are hard all by yourself. So uh, there's that. And then women's retreat registration forms are out in the narthex. Yay. And they're also available on our website on the women's page. Uh, there's a link there you can click. There's also a link on our Facebook event, which will take you to the registration form. You can print that out, uh, get your deposit together. 
send that to uh, Liz Carper and the address is on the form at the bottom. Uh, the other thing is that I sent out a survey via email to about 400 women, uh, maybe about 10 days ago or so. And we've gotten some responses back, but we'd like a little bit more than we got. Uh, it is just six questions. Um, they're, they're not complicated. There's multiple choice. So you just choose um, the answer that best fits. And it's uh, we're asking for feedback, whether you've been on a retreat or not. And um, it's questions like, what would make you go on a retreat? Um, if you went on a retreat, would you like, you know, a whole weekend or just a Saturday and a couple others, again, just a minute. If you didn't get that survey or you can't find it, it's buried in your inbox, um, I can send it to you again. And you could just email me at lhinman at trinityjapa.org. And I'll just send you the link. It takes, like I said, just a second. We'd appreciate it. Um, the other thing, oh, I didn't tell you the topic. The topic of our women's retreat, this is important, um, is called Binge Jesus. And the reason for that is because the study that we're going to do is based on the popular show, The Chosen. Okay, The Chosen, it's got, um, we're gonna take a variety of lessons from seasons one and two and uh, put them together and put this study. So Binge Jesus is our topic for that. All right, last thing, Trips Up Group has still has four trips for this year. And believe it or not, the later ones in the year are starting to really fill up, which is um, interesting because it's only April. And uh, some of those trips are really uh, very quickly filling up. So still a couple, straps, a couple spots for the day trip to the 9-11 Memorial in Shanksville, PA, and the Frank Lord Wright uh, Falling Waterhouse, Saturday, May 21st. Um, there's still some spots for the Ark Encounter and Creation Museum trip uh, this summer. And uh, I believe they're also going to see the Air Force Museum uh, on that trip as well. That's five days, four nights. Um, these are the two that are starting to fill up. Finger Lakes trip, uh, Finger Lakes region of New York, the end of September, September 27th through the 30th. Um, that is prime leaf watching season. So uh, especially up in New York. So that ought to be absolutely gorgeous. Four days, three nights. And then the one that is really filling up quickly is this last one. It's Christmas at the Biltmore. Biltmore is in North Carolina. It's a beautiful mansion um, and gardens and things. Uh, that is December 5th through the 9th. And I know included in that is a candlelight tour of the house all decorated for Christmas and some other Christmas related things that are gonna be awesome. So that one is five days, four nights, December 5th through the 9th. And you can reserve your spot for any of those four trips by calling or emailing Barbara Gordon at 410-844-1433. Those trips are open to uh, anyone in the congregation or community uh, that would like to come. Deposits are required. And uh, Barbara can give you all the details on the information. There are flyers in the Narthex, though, also on each trip. Uh, if you'd like to check out the details, you can grab one of those from the brown round information towers that we have. Um, and you can just like see if the details um, are interesting to you. Okay, that's it for today. Um, have a great week and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hi, I'm Mary Kay Coughlin. I'm your food ministry director here at Trinity. Got a couple announcements for you with my co-host, Batman. <laughs> um, let's see. So we have a new food closet challenge, but it's a little bit the same. So we're still looking for the pet food and the canned fruit. Um, I found out uh, recently that the Humane Society and some of the shelters that are around um, that help people who have pets that are in need, um, help them with their food and some of the supplies, they're having trouble as well. So. Even if you don't donate to us, donate to one of those worthy causes. There are pets out there who need help because their owners need help. Um, but uh, in addition to the canned fruit and the pet food, we're looking for pasta. I'm looking for mostly boxes of pasta. Um, not necessarily spaghetti, but you can bring me spaghetti if you want. And cereal. We need more cereal again. Um, particularly the 
let's say, more flavorful cereal. It's not your generics like Cheerios and stuff. We have some of that. We're looking for some other stuff. That would be awesome. You have a blessed week, and I'll see you next week.